Sunday Drive. First, a few photos from a long time ago of farm machinery, which at the time they were taken was uh, still in use, I'm pretty sure, and a valuable asset to any farmer. Then a display northeast of Cedro Woolley with, with some of the same style of equipment and a variety of different things. Now this display is along a really nice yard and I think it works as not only a living museum but uh, a fence to deter any vehicles from going out into the guy's yard which was a common practice as a teenager among many people. And uh, look at the size of these old rototillers. These were powered and the engines and the size of them they look quite unwieldy, un hard to manage. And as we come up here, we'll see an, a disc and then something kind of unique. A pl uh, this is an old cedar that would seed fields and they've turned it into a planter, and which is, I think that's kind of neat. And this old tractor, it's got to be an early tractor. Look at the hydraulics on it. It's amazing. But the, the biggest part of the story is coming up right now. The first vehicle in line here was some sort of vehicle they had set up, in this picture anyway, for towing logs in a yard and a min, an early skidder. And as you can see, it's quite crude. It, it is uh, vehicle-based, it had wooden floorboards, but the amazing, look, it's got two steering wheel-like devices. One, of course, is a steering wheel. There was only one seat, so the other one was controlled by that driver, too. And if you look close on these photos of the front end, you can see how old it is. Look, it had wooden spoke wheels. Uh, when you look close at the detail of the front end, you'll see that that other steering wheel canted the front tire on one side so you could lift up one tire for some reason unbeknownst to me. I've got no idea. Anyway, I'm going to end with something kind of neat. This big giant purse someone built as a yard display. Pretty cool. Take care.